Hey folks, uh, here is that video. Sorry, it's a little late. Um, so the idea, what I what I want you to do, is to get a sense for how these solutions look differently. So on question two here, there are four equations, and you're going to classify them, and uh, you know you're going to make a graph. And so you can use whatever graphing software you want, but if you don't have a favorite favorite. You can go to desmos.com and you can sign in with a Google account um, or if you don't have to sign in at all. But so I can sign in with Google, get myself situated, and I can plot multiple functions. And it's pretty easy to do this. I don't know if it's my um, favorite, but it's easy, it's free. So let's imagine that I've got something like, you know, uh, you know, f of x, you'll have to use x as a variable, it won't let you use time. But if I had a lot, you know, 3 cosine of 2t, oops, see, 2x, there's one of them. I could do, you know, g of x is some like, you know, 2.4e to the minus 3t, um, you know, sine of, oops, that doesn't like, doesn't like, isn't like T, I always, I always forget. X, there we go. There's another one. Well, that's clearly, yeah, that's fine. We'll talk about this stuff. And then I uh, suppose I had a, another one. So H of X equals, you know, 3E to the minus 2T, oops, did it again, um, plus um, 1E to the minus X. So suppose these are my, my functions, you would have one more. The next thing you have to do is to make this graph look a little nicer. And um, we don't care at all about negative time. Uh, it's important too, because in the damped expressions, you have a negative you have an exponential with a negative exponent. So that decays as you move towards larger positive values and it blows up as you head towards negative values. There's a little wrench over here and you can open things up and you can say, well, I don't you know, really want any of um, the x-axis stuff. The problem then is you don't get to see any of the axis as well. So you, know, you can play around with some value. Um, let's try minus one. That's not too bad. So if I do minus one for x, now do I want all the way to 10? You know, in this graph, maybe I don't. It'll be different for yours. But in this graph, I can clearly see that everything that has happened can, you know, has happened by four. So maybe I change my axes a bit here, take a look at it. So now I can really see what's going on. I've got the, the y-intercepts. I've got a period of the undamped. Like this is pretty good. Now uh, there's a share graph option and you can export an image right here. And so, you know, I, I don't know. Let's do. A, I'm gonna do a large uh, rectangle, um, maybe medium line thickness. Let's see. That shows up a little bit better. Um, what does thick look like? Uh, maybe even better. And then I'll let's see. What are my options? Yeah, I'll do a PNG. Download PNG, and then I'll go back to my my quiz. And the idea is, after you've put in your work here, right? You can do insert. You can go image. You can go upload from computer, and then I go to my downloads, and there it is. And then, bam, there's my graph. And then I, sh you know, you should include something that kind of indicates which ones which. Desmos doesn't do uh, labels, or if it does, I don't remember how to do labels. Um, so you might just include. Something like, um, so after the graph, you might say something like red is, you know, blank and blue is blank and, you know, green is blank. So that's the kind of thing I want you to do. Uh, it's not that bad and uh, it should uh, give you a nice comparison between the different types of uh, damping. All right. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know.